Hi, my name is Dan Trussell and I'm with Kudotatsu Studios and I'm going to show you AI Warrior. This is just a quick getting started video um, being as it's in beta right now and some things may change. Alright, to get started here at the top you'll find a menu and then grab the creation wizard. Once you grab the creation wizard you have the option here to add a new name. I'll put in new guy for our guy we're going to make, but uh, it's not necessary. Once you, uh, let's just grab a humanoid, make sure he's a humanoid rig model, because uh, while you can use generic models, it takes a little different setup, but just getting you started here, we got our new default avatar. If this was blank up here, it would just have default avatar and then put AI warrior behind it, like down here. So, uh, Here's a new guy. Now if you check the create prefab box here, you will uh, create a prefab. You, you'll bring one into your hierarchy in your scene and the other will um, go to wherever the path is you insert up there. I have a default folder here where to catch these guys. So you can, feel free to use it if you choose. All right, let's get him made here. Boom. All right. Got our new guy. We got another guy standing on top of him. Let's get that guy out of the way. Alright. Okay, as you can see, our guy has no weapons. And we got a preset menu here that popped up for us. So, uh, this preset menu is not necessary. It's just kind of an easy start thing I made for people that don't want to read the documentation or go through and figure out the variables but with this what you can do is like select your dude and then uh, hit the setup effects I've included a bunch of standard unity effects and a couple I made myself which will populate on this guy's script for various things and if you check the console here you will see that uh, it added to your guy okay let's go back here now, right now, pressing this button will do nothing. But uh, if you want a sword and a bow on him, drag your prefabs in here. Let's give him an arrow so if he does get close enough, he can put one in your ass. Um, hit this and boom, there we go. He's got himself a, a sword and a bow set to the respective hands and as you can see here in his general settings melee weapon range weapon I've automatically set them we've just automatically set them up and it's also turned on the weapon switching uh, boolean here or toggle so when he's within uh, melee range he'll switch to a sword and when you're in a ranged you know if that's one of his attack types he'll switch to his bow now you can set your attack types here and his patrol types or you can use my little presets here so if we want him to be a bowman that guards his position we can hit that guy there and that just made the change for us we want him a ronin that wanders or I call it a ronin but he uses melee chases you and he just wanders around okay there we go now Let's see some of the other things I got automatically set up like his camera here. I use camera for eyesight. Now the reason being is that I usually make ninja games and I find that when I'm on a rooftop with most AIs they're looking ahead but they never notice me up here on the roof and that kind of kills my gameplay. Now with this camera on your script you can set to orthographic which is my preference here or perspective which will give you you know this field of view and uh, once you set that on your script here and that's the field of view it, now it's going to grab what's going to happen here is it'll grab your character on the uh, if he's within this bounding box and it'll shoot a ray at him if it the ray has actually hits him he's noticed and game on you know 
otherwise he's ignored and this guy goes keeps patrolling now being as I make ninja games which is why I had to make this AI I also have things like evade and things like that so if this guy's chasing you you run behind this wall um, you can you can lose him <laughs> but the other great thing is is uh, which I'll show in future videos is you can dive in water and things like that and uh, he'll stop and he'll wait and search around and then give up and go back to his patrol so uh, these are some of the great features that uh, you can do now we've also created a shooter origin for this guy to shoot his arrows and stuff at you and the default is at this position here 1.3 and 1 forward and uh, I found that's a pretty good default but uh, if you have a different size guy or it's not working just just that as you see fit but the idea was to create it and populate it in the script here so that way you could just get up and going with your guy made and start playing now we have a bunch of different options here I'm not going to go into just yet. One thing that my enemies can do that other AIs don't is that uh, I added dynamic jumping. See, I was sick of having a you know an enemy chasing you, and then if you didn't bake your level right, get all your off mesh links right, you know they freaking wouldn't jump up there and chase you. What I've added is dynamic jumping. So what if you use this unreachable jump, which is great. Oh my, I should set that by default. But uh, what happens is this guy will, if there's no off mesh link here, but and there's no path for him to reach you, he will uh, create an off mesh link dynamically and jump it. And I've also added uh, landing and jumping effects, and you can change all the sounds. I mean, this is really in depth what you're able to do with these guys, and uh, which you'll be able to see you know on their death you can send messages to your game manager which you set up here if you choose um, messages to your player whoever's counting your points or whichever if he's a boss and defeating him ends the level you know these are all messages you can send from uh, when he dies and he'll have a blood spot or decal and a, a blood effect which with better effects than what I've included you can uh, make things look pretty sharp which I'll show in a what can be done video here in the future alright we've pretty much got him up and going let's uh, I'm gonna turn, go ahead and turn off these other guys and we will see what this bad boy can do okay here's our new guy you'll notice that he's not showing anything but if you check this box show action ranges Boom, you've got his, this red one is his melee range, this green one's his wander range, and uh, the blue one's his sight range. So even though your sight box here, um, it once the game starts, your the end of your box is going to end up at your sight range here. So let's hit play and let's see if we can beat him up. Oh, he only had 100 hit points. Oh, damn, you're dead. Bummer. Okay. Another thing you can do, I do this for debugging, is if you hit this debug to console, this enemy, whichever one or ones that have this turned on, all his actions will show up here in the console. So that way you can, if you see something that's kind of funky, you can uh, see right now he's in his patrol state. Now, if he sees me, Oh no, he's on me. Look at all that stuff he's saying to himself. Okay. Oh man. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Now I turned on his dynamic jumping, I believe, so let me show you that. That's pretty pretty darn cool. Let's go down to his uh, jump settings here. Yeah, dynamic jump. This unreachable jump. Now watch this. Uh, well, before we get started, look at the navigation here now I've got all these off mesh links made yay aren't those great alright now watch this I'm going to make uh, we're going to get rid of the height mesh here and get rid of all those 
darn off Michelin. Nope. 